I am so obsessed with these, you guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shannon Ashley here, and today we are doing a quick sneaker haul. I don't have a thousand pair of sneakers, but I have a few, and I really love these sneakers, so I'm excited to share them with you guys. If you guys are a sneakerhead or just kind of like sneakers too, you're gonna like this video. If you're a sneakerhead, you're not gonna like this video because it's a very basic sneaker haul, but I hope you still stick around, and I think you'll actually be surprised at where I got some of my shoes from, but let's just go ahead and get started. Our first pair of shoes are these. These are not the most exciting, but they are these New Balance 8840 version 4. So these are just my basic running shoes. I love these shoes though. Like I'm not ready to give them up. They have nice grip on the bottom for the treadmill or just the ground. And they're just so comfortable. Like I remember there was this point in my life where I was running a lot like on the treadmill, like trying to run almost every day. And these were life. I had to wear long socks though because the back kind of tore into the back of my foot but I'm really obsessed with these. I do need to get a new pair of running shoes though but these were like these are just it. I almost want to go running right now so yeah. Don't sleep on the new balances you guys and I got these from Ross for like 30 bucks a couple years ago. Still holding on to them strong. <laughs> Our next pair are these waffle racers. I am obsessed with these. These are the waffle, waffle racers 2X. Now, I wear these to like walk in the park, sometimes for style. These are just as comfy as the New Balance ones. The grip isn't that amazing, but it is like a good just everyday shoe. You could also wear it to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in like over a year. I got these for as a gift from an ex and I thought I would throw them away but they're just too cute and too comfortable and I went online to see if they still have my size like in the event I wanted to throw these away and just buy a new pair but they don't have my size anymore and I was like why would I do that these are like a solid pair of free shoes so I do love these these are super cute they do sell them still not all the sizes are available but i will link them below but let me know would you guys keep a pair of shoes from your ex or would you toss them in the trash okay our next pair of shoes we'll just go with these because my earring just fell out okay all right so the next pair of shoes we're just gonna go with these because i'm sure everybody has these right now they're so trendy i don't know how these became so trendy and whatever but of course it is the all white air force ones i got these for my birthday are they too white to focus <laughs> okay i don't know if these are gonna focus but you guys get it i'll put a picture everybody knows the all white air force ones are just so like basic i feel like everybody has these in their collection it's just crazy because like when you see people with these on unless you were kid sizes you're like dang they're walking around with a hundred pair a hundred dollar pair of shoes but my cousins got these for me for my birthday. A lot of my shoes, not, yeah, a lot of my shoes are actually gifts from family because, but yeah, can't go wrong with these. I'm actually really happy with how white I've kept them. I think I'm going to wash them, not like in the washer, but like uh, wipe them down soon just so they keep their freshness. But yeah, love, love these. Okay, so these I love almost more than the Air Force ones because I feel like they're like, they're still Nikes, right? But they're like knockoff Air Force Ones and they're super affordable. I feel like I'm going to pick me up like at least two, maybe three more pair of these before the school, school year, before the year is over. These are called Court Visions <laughs> and they're from DSW. I am so obsessed with these, you guys, like the cheetah print on them. They don't have a lot, a lot of sizes left in this one, but here's like the bottom. And then the side, see, <laughs> super cute, right? I wear these all the time with everything. I dress my outfits up or down. These are just like my fave shoe, you guys. Like my fave shoe purchase of 2021. And I got these from DSW for like maybe 70 bucks or so. I can't even remember, but they have all white ones. They have like pink ones. So if you want like a pair of Air Force Ones that don't want to spend like a whole hundred bucks, <laughs> this is it right here. So these ones I got in 2020 and these are like my splurge. Yes, I don't always buy myself shoes. I want to become more of a sneakerhead, but I'm like, 
dang like i'm just so basic when it comes to shoes like give me a shoe with some type of cheetah snake print whatever and i'm good that's where these come into play so these i've worn out i saw they still have my size on dick sporting good so i think i might go get me another pair unless i got an eight let me see that. oh i got a nine they only have an eight and a half left so but yeah super cute these are the air max motion twos i believe and they have the tortoise on the back <laughs> So cute and pink i remember when i got these not a lot of people were wearing them and i was just like i'm just gonna get them because i think they're cute and i think this girl at trader joe's complimented me so i was so happy with the tortoise 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 whatever however you say it print and then a little bit of like i don't think this is leather it might be but very breathable shoe i wear these to go walking almost every single day the grip is not the best they even have pink at the bottom pink in the back just super cute basic shoe love it and i want to say this was like 70 bucks or so i think my back of it but yeah i like how it has a little like bubble for the air max thing too like the detail on here is very subtle but it is very there and that's why i love these shoes okay so these are my favorite i found them on asos and then i sent them to my best friend and then she got them so i was like oh i have to get them but at the time i want to say they were like either 170 or like 200 and i was like oh like, i don't really spend that much money on shoes so that was a lot to me but these are the Air Max 270 Reacts, you guys, with the tortoise. <laughs> it's on the back, too. Then we have, like, the air bubble here. It's just the detail for me. Like, I actually got this pair and that pair for, I think, 180 bucks off the sporting goods. I was so happy. I don't think they sell these, like, from the store store, so you probably have to get them from like Mercari or Poshmark. I'm not ready to put mine up for sale yet, but when I am, you guys will probably see it if you follow me on there. These, I just, I love so much. I need to find more outfits to wear with them. I, I just think they're like the cutest shoe ever. Okay, other shoes I have, I just have like some crusty slides up here. These I got from Fashion Q. This is not only like sneakers though, so we're not gonna talk too much about them, but I keep my slides up here. And then I just have, I think at this point, let me know what you guys do. Do you guys keep your old pair of Vans and your old pair of like Converse? Like I have these white ones. They're pretty scuffed up. I think I'm going to try to, they don't look like nasty in here, but they are nasty. I don't know if you guys can see. I can't tell right now that they are, but I think I'm going to try to wash these. If they don't work out, I'm just going to get rid of them. Just like this black pair. I actually, yeah, I just need to get rid of these. But let me know. Do you guys keep them? Like, or how long do you keep your Converse for? I, those just need to go. I think both of those were gifted to me by my little brothers. And then I have a pair of Vans. I'm not even going to show you guys because those are way too crusty. I also have a ton of these old Nike shoes that I did a long time ago in a shoe haul that's unlisted on my channel. But I'll link it below. So you guys can go see that. I still have those. I think I'm going to throw those. I'm going to give them a good will. I thought I was going to put them in my closet, but I don't know. I'm trying to like low-key clear out my closet. So I'm trying to like show off more of the things that bring me happiness and get rid of the things that don't. Uh, Marie Kondo, for those of you who know. But yeah, that is it for my sneaker haul. Very basic. Let me know if you guys are getting more into sneakers. If 2021 has turned you into a sneaker head. There are so many new sneaker stores in LA that I kind of want to do a uh, haul. A vlog for you guys just so you guys can see like how crazy. These stores are popping up everywhere and they're so cute. I always feel like I need to drop like two or three hundred dollars on a pair of sneakers. But that's ridiculous. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. But yeah, I my dream shoe right now... I really liked, I'll, I'll link like a blog post down for you guys to see what shoes I like, but I really want the Air Jordan 1 mochas. Those are so cute. Or the like Court Royal, not Court Royal, the purple ones. Those are really cute too. Next, we're going to do a jean haul, you guys. So stay tuned for that video. I think you guys will like it because you guys will be very shocked at where I get 90% of my jeans now and they're all from the same brand so if you're excited for that video comment below but also let me know about your shoes would you guys keep a pair of shoes from your ex and also how long do you guys hold on to your shoes before you get new ones whether it be your air force ones your converse whatever just just let's I don't know talk to me you guys but yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye